Hey, it's me, Javid, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. Having an absolute blast with the series. Thanks so much for watching it and hopefully enjoying it. <gasps> Remember the liking the videos, commenting on the videos, subscribing with the bell turned on. All helps out the series to grow. Thank you so much to the people who do that. <gasps> In the last episode, we finished Blood Ties, which is a very thick quest, pun intended, with like, you know, thick blood coagulant. That's a word, right? Uh, yeah, I like that quest a lot, although it's a bit weird with the morality, like I said. It kind of doesn't make all that much sense, in my opinion, that they kind of paint the family to be decent, good folk, but in reality are literally going to kill them if they get hungry? What? So yeah, we need to return to Arfu. There's a bunch of little... This is what I love about Fallout in general, is all the quests and, like, everything has these little tiny things to them that are fun to go through and complete, such as... You know, did you know if you return to Arafu, you could talk with the Arafu residents to get little perks? So we're going to do that now, now that we've uh, peacefully solved everything. Also, Alan from the family, I never knew this either. I'm going to slap my, slap my tattoo real quick. Alan from the um, family comes to defend Arafu, and you can actually get something uh, from that happening as well. So, yeah, uh, let's talk to everybody. Evan King Welcome. gives us alcohol, which he already Back did. Up. How the heck are you? I'm doing pretty well. How are things going now? Things are much better. We all don't have to stay inside our houses, and we sleep much better at night. It hasn't been this peaceful in Arafu for as long as I can remember. The proposal you brought us from Vance should also ensure our safety. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. Well, not with that attitude. So yeah, you can get uh, random alcohols from Evan King, which I don't think is really all that great. I don't really typically consume alcohol or drugs in Fallout games. Pretty much any, any single thing that has a negative, like taking a trait in Fallout New Vegas or, you know, consuming alcohol or drugs in the Fallout games, anything that has a negative to them, I just stay away from in most games as well. Like, just give me net positives. I don't want to deal with negatives, you know what I mean? So yeah, he gave us vodka here, which gives us charisma plus one, int minus one, and strength plus one. So actually a net gain for special stats, but still, I'm going to shift click it. Goodbye. I don't want you. Get the heck out of here. I'm not, a, I'm not a drunk. Okay, let's go talk to the Ewers. They're probably all walking outside, it looks like. Uh, yeah, looks like everyone's bustling around. So who do we have here? We have Karen Shenzi. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. Yeah, you were pretty rude, Karen Shenzi. Any help you can provide would be appreciated and would make up for your attitude. There are a few interesting places around here I've heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. Yeah, so that's the interesting one. If you talk to Karen, she gives you map markers, which is pretty cool. We'll check that out right now. I have to go. Don't be a stranger. It's nice to have company. Oh, now, oh, now your tone has changed quite significantly, hasn't it? So let's take a look at data. What has she revealed? I guess this stuff over here. Rock Breaker's Last Gas. Five Axles Rest Stop. Shale Bridge. All of, oh. Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel. That is a mouthful. Fort Bannister. I guess all that stuff. Uh, oh. Girder Shade. Ooh, Girder Shade I like a lot. So yeah, I guess she reveals some locations. Temple of the Union, Canterbury Commons. I'm not sure which of these we've already seen, though. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's talk to Braley Ewers. Hey there. Hi. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. Why, yes. Let me give you one of my old-fashioned chocolate chip cookies. Enjoy. Yeah, that's the cool... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have to go now. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Braley's obviously not all there. Um, she gave me a tin can and said it was a chocolate chip cookie, which I was actually looking forward to. Oh, did I consume that alcohol? I feel like I consumed that alcohol because I shift clicked. Yeah, it's weird going from like oblivion to this. Okay, huh? thank you. Are we? Let's uh, talk to Ken Ewers. Don't mind Braley. She's in La La Land again. Yeah, uh, you're a saint, I guess, for being able to uh, be with somebody that clearly, you know, does not know who you are. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. Well, all I can do is offer my repair services to you. I'm pretty good with fixing stuff. That's usually because Braley breaks everything, thinking she's making a cake or something. Oh, yeah, this one's really good, too. So, yeah, this guy will repair. Oh, I thought it was for free. Repair skill 20. He doesn't even have that much repair skill. Cost five. What are you talking? I thought this was going to be for free. Uh, repair all night. Yeah, the repair in Fallout is so crazy. We're not doing that. Although, maybe it would be helpful. But probably not with his repair skill. Let's repair anything that is super duper cheap. Like the Talon Combat Armor. Like the Laser Pistol. Like the... I think that's it. 
I thought it said that he would repair for free, so that's really not all that great. I guess he just repairs stuff. Okay, I have to go now. Yep, take it easy. Bye. Okay, what else do we have? Who's this? Door to the Shenzi residence. We'll just check these out since we're on PC and it loads it real quick. Nice. Uh, let's make sure we don't miss any NPCs. We talked to everybody there, right? So yeah, uh, I think now uh, Alan should have a new residence. Although I don't know where he, I don't know where he goes. We pop into Evan's house real quick, which is weird that it's illegal. Oh yeah, we still need to go into Lucas Sims' house. I gotta remember that too. There's something special in there. We could steal all of Evan's ammo. Remember, there's a repair bobblehead in here, but we won't do that. Uh, what do we have over here? The West Residence. I don't think Ian says anything new, but let's check. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. Yep, no problem, Bob. Bye. Sounds. Yeah, huh? Bye, bye. It looks like they gave him a new house back here. Maybe did they do that? Maybe we just have to wait. Yeah, maybe it's too early for Alan to appear. So let's sit here and let's wait 24 hours. As soon as you talk to Vance, he probably, you know, tells Alan to go over to Arafu, and then Alan has to walk over as an NPC. It's weird how it works, though. It seems like if you wait any amount of time after an NPC starts to move, they arrive. It's not like you have to wait 24 full hours. I don't know, though. You would think, like, in the real world, the NPC is literally moving from one place to another. And then that's why, like, certain times there could be problems where the NPC is killed. I still don't know. Like, I've played so many hours of Bethesda games, but, like, some of the NPC movements. Vodka has worn off. Yeah, I accidentally consumed that. You have to right-click in this one, not shift-click like in Oblivion. Yeah, I know for a fact Alan gets, like, a residence, and you can find a skill book, but does a house just pop up? Like, where does that happen? I'm not seeing any other new houses, right? Unless, is it like this and I missed a door? What we could do is we could check the local map. Data, local map. What do we have? Oh, Alan's residence. Yeah, it's like way out there. Okay, I think, yeah, so there was four people that you get stuff from. You get the cookies, which I guess is a random item. You get the map uh, coordinates. You get the repair skill, and then you get vodka or alcohol from Evan King. And then, yeah, Alan's residence pops up, pops up over here, which I guess I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah, and this is where the Brahmin was, too, right? Was there a house here before? I don't know. Learning so much about Fallout 3. Okay, so the Brahmin are back. That's good. Door to Alan's residence. Hopefully he's in here. Although he doesn't have to be in here, but I do want to talk to him. So yeah, in Alan's residence, apparently, yes, there is a Pugilism Illustrated, which we detected. Oh, yo, <clears throat> what up, dude? Hey, welcome back. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so Alan doesn't say anything. It's weird that they make Don't this stolen. Even think about it. Oh yeah, I definitely won't. Uh huh, definitely won't. Are you really just going to sit literally right in front of this thing that I exactly need, for real? Uh, it's going to be hard to find the hitbox, I think. Okay, Alan, let's play this game, shall we? Let's wait, like, three hours. A one, a two, a three. Really wish you could use the arrow keys to determine how many hours you wait, but this game's like, no! Okay, just need to kind of yoink that, if you don't mind. Yoink! You've lost karma? Yeah, well, don't put a skill book in front of me and don't expect me to take it, I'm sorry. Because then we could go to Aid, Pugilism, Illustrated, boop, and then we get two unarmed because we have that comprehension perk. Okay. That is Blood Ties, as far as I know, entirely done with all the little unique stuff you can get from it and everything. Isn't that neat? There is that one door that's locked until we meet a certain character later hey. in the game. Uh, hi. Good evening. Yep, uh, what's up? Okay, so. Also, I don't think we ever went in here, right? To Lucas Sim's house, which is going to be really annoying. I guess we can break in now that we have the lockpick. Let's wait 12 hours, which will be 8 a.m. And then try to get ourselves in there. I, I guess if you wait, like, until the evening when they're inside, like, maybe 6 p.m. or something like that, you can walk in without having to break in. But, uh, yeah. Again, the curiosity, I guess, gets the bet. Oh, there we go. Did we do this? Yeah, so if we go into Lucas Sim's house, the Sheriff of Megaton... Did we not do this yet? We could steal a whole bunch of stuff, obviously, but again, we're not gonna do that. Did we do this and I'm just forgetting that we did this? Or am I missing where this thing is? He's got, um, so yeah, he's got a bobblehead in here and I'm assuming we took it. I don't see it anywhere. It should be very obvious. I thought we didn't do this though. Let's check just back here. Uh, I'm gonna check real quick and make absolutely sure. Be right back. Okay, we definitely got it already, but here's the cool thing that I didn't know. If you go, like, right to this little uh, green thing over here, and you look up, there is a hatch going out to Megaton, and then you can literally just, like, take a look around here, which I never realized. I don't think I ever knew that there was, like, a little little thing there. You can kind of see it here, too. Look at that. Whoa, what is this? 
What is... Whoa! It goes way up here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, never realized this was a thing. You gotta get a sky view of the entire city. Look at that. You learn something new every single day. That's so cool. Uh, okay, now we gotta shift gears. What are we doing? We gotta weave in the main quest at certain points because the main quest is very, very long, if I remember correctly, for Fallout 3 and not my favorite parts. So we gotta, gotta take it in... Uh, you know, uh, chunks. There are some really good parts of it, though. But, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite main quest in a Bethesda game. So, let's do following in his footsteps. Find Galaxy News Radio, which is way over here. GNR Building Plaza, which we've actually found something pretty close to it. Now, the question is, do we need to prepare? <gasps> no, I think we're good. Travel to Georgetown North, yes. But unfortunately, this might be blocked off. This is the really weird thing. Now try and hide. Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, excuse me, time to play. Oh. Bro, where did I put... Why is this so difficult for me to remember ever? Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me as usual. Okay, uh, time to play our favorite game. Where did I put this gosh dang weapon and why do I forget every single recording session? Minigun, you need to be on number five. Why are you not on number five? What the heck? Five. Five is usually where my main weapon goes. Okay, let's do this. Oh, not bad. Eats ammo like crazy, obviously. But overall, not bad. And also, the reload time takes roughly three hours. Okay, let's take some of these Nuka Colas. Can you drink these directly out of the thing? What if I right click? What if I shift right click? What if I shift left click? Well, that's pretty lame. Exit? Yeah, I guess we should honestly start consuming stuff that I don't normally. Uh, oh, did we get a Nuka Cola Quantum by accident? Okay. Rads plus two, HP plus 12. Boop, boop. You can see our HP up there. Uh, does it show our rads? Yeah, right here. Well, it, you know, it only matters once it gets to the tick, I'm pretty sure. Plus, we have that... Um, we have Yeah, that really doesn't heal you all that much HP, though. I was going to say, plus we have that... Uh, where is this telling me to... Oh, okay, so it wants me to go through the metro station. This is what I'm talking about, man. Navigating the wasteland. The capital wasteland is very weird. So, oh, man, what are they... Okay, we need to go here, and then apparently that'll take me to the GNR Building Plaza. I guess we'll just follow it. Please do not lead me astray, video game. I'm gonna give this game the benefit of the doubt. I feel like it's led me astray in the past, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Also, there's these, uh, yeah, e what? Edotronic 3000s that will give you random stuff. I didn't realize it was gonna be stim packs, too. You might as well take this food and use that since we're already irradiated, right? Also, let's press five. Uh, let's press, what, four? Good. Yeah, this will be our little backup weapon. Uh, somebody was saying use melee as a backup. I like that idea. Yeah, because explosives are... I wanted to do explosives. Hi, who are you? Yeah, it's weird. It seems like you can fire a lot faster uh, than I realized with the laser pistol. Ooh, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, I should take the pack of cigarettes, too, to sell them. Also, let's consume all that food and see how much HP it gives us. Dandy Boy is 6 HP and 2 rads. Potato Crisp is 2... Rads and 6 HP each. Rad X, Rad Away, Stealth Boy, Stim Pack. Let's go to Stats. Let's go to Rad. Let's go to Rad Away. Now we're down to 30, because I think we just got radiation poisoning. Okay, where's this telling me to go? It looks like forward through here. Sometimes you really got to figure it out. It's like a puzzle where to actually go. It looks like, yeah, but whenever you're on the top level of one of these metro stations, they usually wrap around to an exit. Once you play a decent amount of Fallout 3, you kind of get the feel for it. Hopefully, we'll find some med kits in here. Sometimes they can hide behind the walls, I think. Also, there's a guy chasing me somewhere. Railway spikes. Ooh. Carton of cigarettes. Ooh. Nothing. Ooh. Nothing in here, really? Okay, great. Thanks for wasting my time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we... Oh, my God. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, there's bear traps everywhere. Disarm, you get a little bit of XP. Let's go this away real quick. Oh, hi. Probably should have checked and s to see if that person was actually aggressive first, but when they, whenever they get up like that, I think they're always aggressive. There's never an instance where they're not. Clipboard and a knife. No, thank you. Got a lunchbox over there. What about in the desk? Earnings clipboard, pack of cigarettes. Hello. What do you have? Nothing. What else is new? What's that? 
Nikola Tesla and you. Ooh, okay, that's a good pickup. Boop, that's gonna be two energy weapons. Oh, we have a, a Securitron here. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal. Let's try to be smart about it. Lunatics, one out of eight. Lunatic, lunatic, cannot be that. Lunatics, cannot be that, even though it looks like it. Lunatic, cannot be that. Luna, cannot be that. Lunatic, cannot be that. Lunatics, can be this. Oh, come on, just make me feel smart for once. Lunatic, cannot be that. Lunatic, can be this. You, 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 you don't get to make me feel stupid when I'm like trying to be smart. Okay, we need an allowance replenished. It doesn't tend to, oh, we got the double, yes! Okay, uh, what, what do we do last? You can see it over here, by the way. Champion? Wait, what? Wait, I turned off follows. Why does it do that? That makes me insane. I literally pause the alerts and it still does it. Streamlabs sucks, let it be known. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, what are we, champion? Okay, so now, loon, lunatics, can be this. Bruh, luna, luna, cannot be that. Luna, cannot be that. Luna, it has to be this. Okay, man, you're really gonna put me through my paces, huh? Jeez. Okay, let's see, for more help, the, the, the run ticket check routine, DCTA metro map? What is this, view download metro map, ooh. I don't think I've ever done that. Metro map downloaded, hell yeah. Okay, very cool. Uh, run ticket check routine. Probably not good, because it's gonna want us to have a ticket, which we don't have, right? Wait, oh, we do have a metro ticket, don't we? Okay, I don't know what all this is. We're at our uh, half health point, by the way, which is great, that's where we need to be. All right, yeah, I'm not sure what all this is. I don't care either. Okay, hello there, sir, hello. Metro central not responding. I guess he doesn't care. I think we have metro tickets, though. Omega. Yeah, good luck, man. Uh, there's definitely some disgusting, dirty raiders out here, by the way. Go go check Oof. those guys out. What the? Ah, bear traps. Trying to see another one. Yeah, and, yeah. if we come back here, let's get these disarmed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a metro ticket, man. Uh, but these other people don't. So, yeah, yeah, go check them out. Okay. Now, let's go to stats. Let's go to condition. Let's heal that crippled leg. Let's press S, S, S. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna recap what's happened in the main story so far since we've been doing this sporadically. Basically, we grew up in the vault, Vault 101. Uh, everything went to hell when we turned 17 or 18? I think 18, right? So that we can say that we're 18. Um, then our dad left, uh, and we need to find and track down our dad. We went to Megaton, we talked to Moriarty, he told us that... Did he give us the tip? Somehow we found out that we need to go to the Guns and Roses, the GNR, the Galaxy News Radio Plaza for a tip on where our dad is. So that's what we're doing. We're navigating the metro in the Capital Wasteland and you know, DC proper, and we're trying to attempt to find that plaza so we can get a lead on where our dad is. That's what's going on, right? So here we have the metro, the metal gate to DuPont Circuit. Oh yeah, sir, yeah. Language center in my brain. The metal, the metal gate to DuPont Circle. And we did in fact uh, remove a metro ticket there. So that's what the metro tickets are for, pretty cool. Okay, is this? What I think it is. Also, yeah, did we get a map of the entire metro from that? Let's take a look. Looks like we maybe have gotten, I don't know, what did that give us? We're here? GNR Building Plaza. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, is like, it's so weird navigating this place. I don't know why, honestly, they designed it like a labyrinth. You discovered DuPont West. Cool, is this like an entrance to something? Looks like it, but it's not. All right, let's stow this away. Stow this away. Ba, 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 ba. Seven is our stim pack, so go back to four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is the part of the game that's super duper duper weird trying to get to anywhere in the metro, because it's fairly linear, you know, when it comes to when it comes to Gotcha! When it comes to um, navigating in a Bethesda game, you're so used to be able, oh my god, these jams. You're so used to be able to, you know, uh, go wherever you want, but not the Metro in Fallout 3. Come on! Yeah, the laser pistol's real weird. Sometimes you get like a, 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 
You're able to, like, shoot very fast. Combat shotgun is exactly what I need. Thank you. Sometimes you're able to shoot really, really fast, but I'm not sure what determines that. Let's press 7 three times. Oh, we really need medicine. Our medicine is woefully, woefully unhelpful. Oh, perfect. Yeah, shotgun shells is great, though. Uh, wow, look at the- Oh my god! Okay, this is- I don't remember this at all- Oh! Not good! Ow, okay, I think we got away. Uh, okay, I think we press- uh, what do we do here? What in the world? Oh, there's some ghouls down there! Have we even seen ghouls yet? Uh, yeah, we are doing pretty bad with weapons here. Let's take a look if we got these grenades equipped or not. Weapons... Frag grenades, let's put those, I'm getting, man, this has been the number one playthrough where, like, my, my hotkeys are getting, like, crazy messed up. Okay, probably because I'm not used to playing any Bethesda game with a keyboard and mouse. Let's use frag grenades, and let's just chuck these out. I, I think when there's a lot of enemies like this, this is the exact time to use these. Since these are basically freaking worthless, because they're so hard to actually land. Are we landing any, come on now. Are they running out? Okay, we got one guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a loose cannon, and I got nothing to live for. I actually got a lot to live for. Uh, I'm looking for my dad, if you guys could help me. Are they just running from that? Because they're like, oh my god, this guy's got grenades, run! Oh god, what the heck? Okay, uh, man. Be cool if there was like a per- The hell with you, hell with you ma'am, frankly. God, it's so hard to land freaking grenades, I swear to god. Uh, let's press four. Ow! Why did you people- God. Why did you people put mines freaking everywhere? You realize you're gonna set those off yourself, right? Boop, boop, boop. I do like the hunting rifle a lot because you can line up shots. It's very satisfying when you land them. I'm trying to keep an eye out for these damn landmines, but they are really blending in. Almost like it's their job. Yo! Jeez! Yeah, this is a very, very, very weird play style we've got going on here. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and equip that shotgun. I do like the shotgun, the combat shotgun. Let's repair that as well with itself. And then let's put that on four. Yeah, and then try that out. You gotta be close, obviously, but we can make that happen. Okay, jeez Louise. This game, this is a lot harder. A lot of people have been shouting, not a lot of people, but some people have been shouting at me in the comments section to um, use VATS. Uh, I'm not going to. It's, it's, I, I want that to be part of the challenge. I wouldn't say at this point I'm too inaccurate either. Like, sure, we're, we're missing our shots, but you also have to consider we're using weapons that we don't have skills for, because I'm trying to conserve, uh, you know, heavy weapons ammo, since it's hard, you know, the, our minigun eats it up like candy. Also, it looks like we're going through another metro station. Fun, fun, fun. Chain gate to metro junction. Okay, so when I was a kid, I was dumb. I'm gonna press seven. Well, no, I'm gonna try to hold out until we get to like a bed. So when I was a kid, I was dumb, and I didn't realize probably that this is the metro junction. So this is probably where they all, you know, meet up, and you can use this to get to a lot of different metro areas. At least I assume. Okay, let's consume all of these Nuka Colas. Aid. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Okay, we got a ghoul here, which, yeah, like I said. Oh my god. <gasps> You really gotta wait for your shots with the shotgun. It's so weird. Uh, yeah. Not sure if we've seen... Ooh, 11 shotgun shells. That's fortunate. Pre-war money and a red pass card. Interesting. Uh, not sure if we've seen ghouls just yet. Oh, people in cages. Magnificent. Wonderful. God, the wasteland has such an ambiance. Boop, boop. Uh, that's it. Hello. Boop, boop. Thank you. Oh, they had cigarettes. Boop, boop. Thank you. I'll take those. Thank you. Cigarettes are bad for your health, but good for my money. Uh, okay, we need to go down here. I, I don't know, man. The metro is the metro. So much freaking crap in the metro. It doesn't look like we go that way, though. I think we go down. Well, let's take a look at our local map. Data. Local map. Uh, that's where we came, right? From. Yeah, looks like we go down. This is a, yeah, well, flat out my least favorite part of the game are navigating the metros in Fallout 3. Uh, very glad this is not a part of Fallout New Vegas. Honestly, adds a lot to the fun. I think the first playthrough, it's fine. Going through Fallout 3 metros, you know, it's all new, and it's like, ooh, what's this? And it's a part of the ambiance, I guess, the decrepit, everything is green and gray sort of look. But when you play this game any number of times... Oh, my God! <laughs> when you play this game any number of times... 
Uh, God, actually, by the way, this is actually terrifying when you first play this. At least for me. Ah, how dare you. Oh, luckily you don't have to aim all that well. Also, is our pit boy I swear I keep... Yeah, it's so dark. It's hard to tell. Bottle caps take all. I gotta get better at just hitting A when I want everything in an inventory screen. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like we're going the right way. I don't know. This whole part of the quest... The main quest is one giant maze. But yeah, it looks like this is right. I think. Uh, remember to search every single Nuka-Cola machine. You'll have a chance to find a Nuka-Cola Quantum. You want to be stacking those up. All right, let's press 777. Seven, seven. Metal gate to Chevy Chase. This was so weird. Like, is Chevy Chase named after this, or is this named after Chevy Chase? I don't know. I'm assuming this is an actual thing. Okay, where the heck are we going now? My God. Yeah, this, this quest basically serves as an introduction to navigating, I think, the metro tunnels and everything. And navigating the wasteland in general. I genuinely wonder why they did it like this. I'm assuming they just, like, were like, hey, we need to have the metro. That's a pretty cool part of, like, having a wasteland environment, much, li much like metro. You know, the metro 2033 games. But, um, yeah, and then they're like, well, we can't just have a whole bunch of metro systems and then have the player choose to avoid them, right? So, I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, this part. I'm assuming that's the idea. Also, there's these Pulowski preservation ships. There's these Pulowski preservation shelters that usually will have stuff inside of them. Uh, although this one doesn't. Nice! Okay, so we obviously have some people help helping us out here. Let's take all of those. Let's go into our inventory. Let's go to items, weapons, 10 millimeter. We'll repair that. Uh, assault rifle. We'll, we'll repair that. Hunting rifle. We'll repair that. And then we will press E. And then we will drop this. What? No. Equip that. Put that on four. Drop this by sh what shift click or right clicking yeah it's right click it's so weird okay i want to use the hunting rifle i really like these even though we have no small guns so, okay put this away now uh clearly somebody was helping us out there but who who could it be what the heck That's how we do it in the lion's pride, you fucking freak. hey enough with the f-bobs make it a youtube Shut. make it a youtube video here you paladin vargas initiate redden hello no okay. offense. These guys aren't really no, talking. No what about you? Hello? Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News Radio Building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. Okay, that's awfully rude for... but I get it. Oh my gosh, I turned off the freaking alerts and there's follower sound. Thank you guys for following. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> imagine if you're watching this and you followed on February 17th, 2.55 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, if you did that, thank you for following. Uh, but I turned the alerts off, but Streamlabs never updates. It's so annoying. Anyways, uh, wait, who the hell are you people? But we already know. We know they're the Brotherhood of Steel because we met them in the library, right? Uh, thanks for the assist. I didn't know this place was so dangerous. You've been living under a rock? This is D.C. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. So, you guys looking for new recruits? That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. Okay, I'm not like that. Who did you say you were again? The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I literally helped you, though, and you're being very stupid right now. You mentioned something about Galaxy News Radio. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Lady, this is a 100% playthrough, I'll have you know. I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Uh, you watch yourself. Listen, I'm doing fine, okay? Don't give me crap. I, I think I'm pretty sure I landed the final hit, by the way, on those super mutants. Okay, so yeah, we are traveling now with the Brotherhood of Steel to get to Galaxy News Radio. That's where we need to go anyways. Ooh. 
Initiate Jennings here with an energy cell, laser pistol, and power armor, uh, which we actually really want. However, we cannot use currently, and it's going to weigh us down heavily. So we won't take that, and it's also funny that they don't give a crap if we take that from him. That's pretty messed up. All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. Welcome. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome. All right. It's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's roll out. I mean, if you guys want me to take point, you guys are, or you guys just want to keep talking. Like, we can just talk all day. To our brothers, to our but, uh, I'll be killing some super mutants. Man, nothing feels worse than when you narrowly miss a shot. When it's like just a split pixel off. And that is consistently happening with these super mutants. Uh, thank you. Yeah, again, even though we have no skill for the hunting rifle, I really like using it. Feels very good to land these shots, so we'll keep taking all the super mutants. The super mutant weapon of choice. We'll keep getting uh, more and more ammo for it. Yeah! yeah. Boop. Boop. And we also don't deal much damage. It doesn't affect our damage, though, right? It only should be affecting... It only should be affecting the accuracy, right? Ooh, a whole bunch of 32 caliber rounds there. Ooh, grenades, nice. Are we really missing that close? Come on now, let me shove the gun into you. So we don't miss. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think we have enough 32. I think we have enough hunting rifles in our inventory at the moment. Okay, looks like we've got to fight through a dilapidated school. Just to the south of us. Colvin, you're the eyes. Vargas, Redden, secure this building. Come with me if you like. We'll have the best. Come with me if you want to live. All right, that'll be the end for this playthrough or for this for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> Thanks so much for watching. Remember commenting on the videos, liking the videos, subscribing with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel. Thank you and massive thank you to my patrons as well. I will see you all in the next episode. <gasps> bye bye.